In this video, we'll show how to give an emergency shot using Solucortef Activile. It's important that you, your friends, and your family know how to give this shot. They'll need to help you if you can't do it yourself. You may need a Solucortef shot if you have a serious injury, if you're losing a lot of blood, if you're throwing up, if you're too sick to take your daily cortisol medication, or if you faint. Your doctor may tell you to give yourself an emergency Solucortef shot in other situations, too. If they do, follow their instructions. If you have any of these symptoms, you or your caregiver need to call your doctor's office right away. If you can't reach them, give yourself the emergency Solucortef shot or have your caregiver do it for you. To give the shot, first set up your supplies on any clean, open surface. You'll need a Solucortef Activile bottle, two alcohol wipes, a sterile syringe with a needle, a gauze pad, a bandage, and a sharps container to safely throw the syringe and needle away. You can use an empty laundry detergent bottle with a screw-on cap. Check the expiration date on the Solucortef bottle. If it's expired, don't use it. Check if you have another bottle that isn't expired. If you don't, call 911. Next, clean your hands with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. If you're using soap and water, wet your hands and apply soap. Rub your hands together well for at least 20 seconds then rinse. Dry them with a paper towel and use that same towel to turn off the faucet. If you're using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, be sure to cover all parts of your hands with it, rubbing your hands together until they're dry. Once your hands are clean, pick up the Solucortef bottle. Push down on the yellow cap so the liquid in the top part mixes with the powder in the bottom part. Then turn the bottle upside down a few times until the medication turns clear. That means it's fully mixed. Once the liquid is clear, take off the yellow tab on the top of the bottle. You'll see an orange rubber stopper underneath. Clean the top of the bottle with an alcohol wipe. Pick up the syringe and take the cap off the needle. Turn the bottle upside down and stick the needle into the middle of the orange rubber stopper. Make sure the tip of the needle is in the liquid. Gently pull the plunger back to fill the syringe with all the medication in the bottle. Then pull the needle out of the bottle. Look at the syringe to see if there are any air bubbles inside. If there are, hold the syringe with the needle pointing up and tap it with your fingers until the air bubbles rise to the top near the needle. Slowly push the plunger to force the air bubbles out of the syringe. Be careful not to push out any medication. Once the syringe is ready, put the cap back on the syringe and place it on a clean surface. Use the other alcohol wipe to clean the skin about halfway up your thigh towards the outer side of your leg. This is where you'll give yourself the shot. Pick up the syringe and take off the cap. Hold the syringe in your fist, making sure your thumb is not on the plunger. Using your other hand, press down on your skin where you're going to give yourself the shot. When you're ready, put the needle straight down into your thigh in one quick motion. Move your thumb to the plunger and slowly push the plunger down to inject the medication into your thigh. Keep the needle in your thigh for 10 seconds so the medication goes into your body. Then pull it straight out and set it aside. Press down on your thigh with the gauze for a few seconds. Then put on the bandage. Put the syringe and needle in the sharps container. Then call 911. You may need more medical care. If you have any questions, call your doctor's office. You can also find more resources on our website, 
www.msk.org/pe